<laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you my makeup. I want this to feel like one of the first videos I'm recording on my phone and I just want to get back to where everything started. I'm going straight with concealer. This is my favorite and it's from Hourglass. I apply a little, it has a really good coverage, so I don't want to end up like all covered up. The shade is Sepia. And I go with the Hourglass concealer brush. See? Really good coverage just for those two dots. Now I'm going with Chanel bronzing cream. I like to apply a lot as it is summer and then it will fade. I like to go a little bit with my finger and just do that it's just really easy and it makes the difference i can do little to no concealer but i would never avoid contour these past few days haven't been my best you know like i've been struggling a lot with my content i am being a full-time content creator at the moment and i just put so much pressure into that as it is my only job this is the hourglass vanish airbrush pressed powder it's so so good. I love to do powder while I'm starting just because I tend to fill my makeup tutorials and it makes my skin look 10 times better. And let's go go by makeup forever. If you do your nose contour with lip liner, it's just like way more precise. I don't know how to say it. And I love to do that and this. I love contouring <laughs> and I'll just smudge it with my finger. Okay, so as I was saying, I have a really hard time going straight to the point, but I just want you to understand what I'm doing as well. I've been having a difficult time in terms of being creative and I want to improve and I want to make things better as a creator. And I don't want to always be doing my makeup on mute, like, because that's what I always do. But I don't know why it gives me anxiety to post. I have to fight through it and I will but it's just not happening for me at the moment. I'm going with Hula um, here. In the same places I apply the cream bronzer. These ones, I usually don't buy makeup, I just receive it. I have a ton of makeup and I know it because brands sent me, so I don't need to buy. But these two, I bought them um, because I really wanted that bronzy look. And if you are going out or something, this is key. I would set I will set all the places I applied cream bronzer with powder bronzer. I don't know how to say it. Okay, and if you feel like it's too much, you just do that. Brown eyeliner. Okay, so as I was saying, oh, I'm really hard on myself and I, I just always want more. I want more. This is not enough. Like, okay, I achieved th this goal, but now I want this other one and it's never enough for me. And that's what keeps you going in life though. Like, that's what makes you keep up accomplishing things, but it's not healthy sometimes. I just wanted this to be like really honest and I don't want to be pretending to be something else. I always like to do this as well, apply it in the outer line of my lashes you see so i'm not even wearing mascara yet and it's like a more powerful lash and i just wanted to come to youtube and talk to you guys because i feel like i need it and i'm always procrastinating and i'm always procrastinating because this is not the background you know this is not like the vogue with a secret bathroom and i just said okay i'm just going to film my makeup and talk a little bit with you. This is L'Oreal Telescopic and this is not waterproof. I used to be, I wouldn't use an, a mascara that were, that wasn't waterproof, but now I just really love this one. I take my time with mascara. Like, wow, look, I should be closer to my phone. I didn't realize. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me because sometimes I feel like I give no context and I'm suddenly hearing and you're like, as a 20 year old Argentinian, this is the dream for me and I get to receive PR and go to events of brands that I've always dreamed of and I'm just really, really grateful. But I never talked about the struggles, you know, or the insecurities. I compare myself to another creator on a daily basis and I have to really work on that. Like, for example, brand trips. Like, everyone goes on brand trips. I've never been to one and I'm like, why? <laughs> what, what am I doing wrong, you know? And you can never imagine that if, if I wouldn't tell you. So um, I just want to tell you like, the real side of it. These both are Charlotte Tilbury um, in Pillow Talk. This is the Intense and this is the Pillow Talk 
overlying my lips with this and you don't want to overdo it like do it thick because it won't look great it will look like a mustache because it's really like dark i will apply this in the middle i actually saw it in nessa barrett's bold beauty secret and i really really liked the lip combos using lip liner in the middle is great because i feel like it will last this the road pe peptide lip treatment i feel like it makes my lips look better than any other but i love to use it when i, when I, when I don't have anything in the middle when i just have lip liner and this so now i'm going with the lip gloss i'm using this armani beauty clear one i just don't want to stain it what should i do i will just do like this and then i'll smudge it with my finger like i don't want to stain it like that I feel like I don't have enough mascara, so I'm going to apply this a little more. In the only part, I feel that I'm connected with myself because I'm not, to be honest. I'm a really big believer in manifestation and in meditation. I'm just not applying it at the moment and that's okay. Sometimes you're not in that era. But in the only part in my life where I feel that I'm doing great is that I've been listening to Shakira a lot and this sounds crazy, I know but um it used to be really hard for me because Sekiro was like m my mom's favorite artist and it always reminded me of her and we used to listen to Shakira in the car all the time and I know every single lyrics to every single song the time has come and I'm able to listen and really enjoy her music and the music that my mom used to listen to like the old albums you know and I'm really happy about that because it makes me feel really close to her it automatically takes me to me being in the car with my mom me being seven years old and my sister because i have a twin sister there's a lot of things that nobody knows i'm using this powder this is one size ultimate setting powder and it's pink and it's so good as i told you i'm a big powder fan and as i'm in miami but i cannot wait to be in like Spain or something and just for it not to be like as humid as Miami is because I'm so tired of it like I have had enough and um, and my hair has had enough that's why I'm wearing braids like it's not regular of me highlighter this is one of my favorite palettes as well and it's from Hourglass I would say many of my favorite products are from Hourglass I really really like Hourglass this is a really nice palette I think I'll go with this one because it's not as hard as this one, you know? Okay, so yeah, I have a twin sister and she's the best. Like, growing up with a twin sister, I don't know. I, it's crazy for me that people don't get to experience it because it's like really um, normal for me, of course. And we used to do everything together. Um, last year was the first year we spent the most time apart and this is of course the second one we spent our birthdays apart last year and this year is going to be the same but of course like all my family supports me and knows that i'm following my dreams and that i'm doing all these things because i've always dreamt of them i forgot blush and i'm literally the most blush blind person ever the other day i was like oh my god i have a lot of blush and this is embarrassing <laughs> i didn't realize when i left my house and my friend was like you have a lot of, bl of blush but you always do so i just didn't say anything because you always do over blush and i'm like okay i'm in love with this at the moment this is the refi in shade malaya and this is tower 28 in shade beach please or magic hour i just don't understand because it has two things there i'm going to do one on each side so you can see more like cold i don't know so good and this is more like warm for summer i love it and this and you can also apply it on lips i think i'm done let's see how my hair looks I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and I never ended up saying anything. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm probably going to braid my hair again. I just want to see how it looks. Uh, and I, of course, um, did some highlights in my hair. I feel like doing my makeup was not enough time because I want to say a lot of things. I want to tell you a lot of things. And I really wanted this to feel like one of 
the first videos that I've ever made. I feel like my English has improved a lot, a lot as well. I just don't want people that I know to watch my videos. Okay, so I'm at least going to change to so that I'm not in my pajamas anymore. Look, the humidity and this is only going to get worse. I'm spending my birthday this year somewhere special again. But it's not New York. It was my dream dream my dream though. I'm really grateful and I cannot wait for what's to come. It's just that July is going to be like because I have to figure all these things out about the next destination where I'm going. I know I have I still have a month left here, but I'm just thinking about the next destination because I am that way and I cannot change and I'm a Virgo. There's more aesthetic videos to come. This is just not the case. And what else? Yeah, that's it. I really hope you like the makeup and have a great night or day or whatever time it is.